you. Hello, Edwin. Hi. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing great. How are you? I am not doing so well. Why? Huh. Um, it's because um, I just learned about um, a bill that this um, assembly member named Dr. Richard Pan, I don't know if you've heard of him before, he's passing a bill that will um, violate um, parental rights on choosing which vaccine to give your kids and what not to inject your kids. This is a, this is a doctor, a pediatrician from Orange County? Um, he, he's, he's a... Um, He's a uh, Democrat in Sacramento, and um, he's he's trying to basically force all parents to vaccinate their children, regardless if it violates philosophical, religious, and personal rights. He wants to eliminate that exemption. Yeah, well, I, you're not going to get much sympathy in this uh, side of town. Dr. Drew and I are both big fans. You're big fans of what? Vaccinating kids. Um, you're a big fan of uh, vaccinating kids with um, aluminum, aborted fetus, uh, formaldehyde. Hey, whatever keeps people from getting measles and goddamn Ebola or whatever the hell. You know what? We didn't have measles for a long time until Nudnik stopped vaccinating people. And now all oh, you got to go to goddamn Disneyland with a bunch of kids with measles. Because idiots go listen to some pamphlet they got at Whole Foods. Listen. If vaccines were made safer, I would give it to my kids. All every parent would give their kids. What vaccines. makes them unsafe? The formaldehyde, the thimerosal, the aluminum. First off, I'm, learn I'm, how to pronounce formaldehyde before you call up and make stupid arguments. Thimerosal has been gone for years. Yes. Yeah. The formaldehyde is nominal. The, yeah. The, no, there's no. Listen, I can't get enough vaccines for my kids. I can't get enough of them. This is a physician talking. And I've given them every single one they can no, possibly I'm tired. I'm, I'm just basically saying I'm tired of seeing uh, kids becoming chronically ill, oh. uh, paralyzed, dead after receiving the vaccine. All right. Listen, go, go to a country that doesn't have vaccines. They don't have the money. Or they don't have any of the resources hmm. to get vaccines and see how they're doing. Edwin, did you get vaccines? Yes, I have. All right. How you doing? Well, um, I can tell you that um, when I got the MMR vaccine... I became learning disabled. I wasn't uh, in regular education class, and because of it, I was in special education class my you, whole life. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Everyone in this room got the same vaccines as you, and we didn't have to go on a short bus. Why are you blaming the vaccines? Maybe you're just in need of special education. No, um, because um, I actually did research MMR vaccine. I know, but Edwin... Do you think that your ability to research something on a Google search far exceeds a – I'm sitting next to a physician. you know, a physician. He went to medical school and graduated at a high level and then practiced medicine for like 35 years. And you think that a guy with, with the learning disabilities can go on Google and, and argue your point? Don't be a silly person. I'm not a silly <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. Look, I'm not saying we, like, I'm not happy about putting chemicals in children, but do you understand? Look at the world. There's a million d deadly bugs that kill children. And we're in America where we have access to these vaccines to prevent kids from dying. I'm not a silk. You get, get me a line of Kenyan children. That would cut their legs off to get these vaccines. And you dip-ass hippies don't want to give it to them because you saw some Huffington Post article that said there might be formaldehyde inside it. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth! Here's the thing. I, you, you, you're entitled, in my world, you're entitled to go ahead and take issue with physicians. Yeah. First, take issue with your plumber your, your, and, your, and your, your carpenter. If you can fight off everything they try to do... Yeah then I'll just be included in that whole sort of pugilistic yes. attitude. Fine. That's fine. Here's the here's the, what it boils but, down but, to. But why? You have to take a break. You're not going to fight with the plumber? No. You're going to fight with the guy no. that had 12 years of training? Okay. No. And you're not going to. And listen, no one calls the radio show, either of my radio shows, and goes, this is how you need to do your job, buddy. This is how you need to do radio. Uh, I, I, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm, a, uh, I'm an electrician. But let me tell you exactly how you should host your radio show. 
Shut your damn mouth. Here's the thing. You're free not to give your kids vaccine. But if your kid gives my kid measles, I'm going to kick your ass. That's the law. The new law. Thank you. 1-800-LOVE-191 is the number. It's Loveline. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. No one else can find the trouble so quickly or repair it so economically. Loveline is coming back.